Hello, this is Mike. In this screencast, I want to introduce one of the most important strategic planning tools in the literature at present. The social media planning cycle was developed by Melissa Barker and her colleagues, and it's captured in this diagram here. If we start at 12 o'clock, we see that it begins with an initial act of listening, and it works its way right round to tuning the offering and then setting the cycle away again with another round of listening to what the audience is saying. Let's work our way through each stage of the diagram in order that it makes a little more sense, but it's really straightforward. So as I said, the first step in the process is listening to key audiences. This is all about setting important strategic goals, business objectives for a social media implementation. So we know where we want to get to as well as where we're starting from. The active listening is all about understanding the conversations, what people are saying about us, what they're saying about our competitors, what our competitors and other commentators are probably saying about us. It's the only way we can ever get a comprehensive and targeted message. We have to not just talk, but listen. Once we've done the listening and analyzed the data, we can begin to set goals. In other words, strategic objectives, business outcomes that we want to achieve. The end goals are really important and we could draw on a whole host of standard strategic analytical techniques, SWOT analysis, past five forces, all of those type of common tools are really, really helpful here. We need to understand what our competences are and our capabilities and we want to, in other words, determine competitive advantage. Once we've done that and we have clear goals in mind, we begin to formulate our strategy. This should be done on a case-by-case -case basis using all relevant data and constantly keeping the strategic goal in mind. Formulating a strategy that delivers competitive advantage is all about having a clear roadmap to our end destination and, crucially, all of the important resources all lined up and in place, ready to deploy. There are lots of tools we could use for that. The eight C's of social media strategy development are a common framework to help us, but we need the strategy, the roadmap in place. Once we have that, it's about targeting resource towards the key audience segments. Market segmentation is crucial in any form of business. It's perhaps even more important in a social media business because of the nature of the channels and their ubiquity. We want to avoid mass messages and a scattergun approach. So instead, we want to have a clearly tailored message that's based on the wants, needs, desires and characteristics of the audience we're seeking to talk to and begin engaging with. We also want to have a strategy in place for converting customers into what are effectively brand advocates, the champions of our business. Apple have done this really successfully. Someone who is pro-Apple, well, they're the best marketing channel Apple have. Once we've got a message and a key audience in segment in mind, then we can start to think about the strategic tools that we're going to tactically deploy, the different channels, in other words. This has to be segment driven. Twitter, for instance, appeals to an entirely different audience segment to Facebook, which is different again from LinkedIn. We need to have the platform in mind, the type of message, and even things like the technology. Different types of marketing, for instance, are appropriate where your key audience segment is predominantly accessing your channel via a smartphone to those we would typically use if they were using a laptop computer. So we need to think about the technology too when we're selecting our tactics. Then we get to implementation.
Doing all of the previous steps has ensured that we're not adopting a Me Too approach. So we have a clear strategic direction, an audience analysis, and we've selected our channels. Now what we need is an actionable social media plan. So this needs to be che sanity checked too against the overall corporate strategy. Sometimes strategic planning can lose its way and you become so bogged down in the detail that you forget that the social media strategy needs to be aligned to the overall corporate strategy before implementing it. Otherwise, it might deliver something, well, completely incompatible. Once we've got implementation in place, we get into the monitoring and fine-tuning places. The social media planning cycle is exactly that, a cycle. So we need to have all of the mechanisms in place to monitor audience response and interaction, to fine tune the message if need be. If things are going wrong, for example, there's a service failure, we need protocols in place for addressing it quickly and adjusting the message accordingly. This is the only way we will get ongoing active participation and engagement with our key target audience. So that's the social media planning cycle. We begin by listening, setting goals, formulating a strategic plan. The plan then needs to be targeted towards key audience groups. And on the basis of those audience groups, we select our channels, our platforms. We then implement the plan, monitor its performance, and have mechanisms to fine tune the outcomes. So that involves further listening and we go around the cycle all over again. So one tool, but a very, very important one, the social media planning cycle. Thank you.